We are fast approaching the 99 Energy Portal. That's very important. You will want to stick around because let me tell you, every year, every year, my clientele around this time would be people coming in going, what the heck happened? Oh my gosh, everything changed all at once. Well, here you go. This is what we're talking about right now. So you don't have to panic. Okay. So 99, we're going to talk about that. That's going to quick, quickly, it's going to quickly lean into the 1010 energy portal. It'll be here faster than you think. So if you don't know who I am, I am Michelle. This is Angel Souls. We do all of this from an angelic standpoint. And I'm an angel medium. So we're going to be bringing through all the messages that we need to know to get through this time. Nine, nine. Nines, repeating nines usually can mean a completion or it's the idea of a completion. The actual action happens usually around 10, 10, where we start to clear and rebuild. That's around 11, 11. 12, 12 is basically closing the circuit because you understand the why. Why something came to a completion. So this can be like karmically summing things up. Okay. And we don't want to repeat that every year. I'm going to apologize real quick here. Um, my voice has been in and out all day. There you go. That's all you need to know about that. I suppose <laughs> so if you're like, what, what's wrong with your voice? Maybe nothing while I get through this video, but just in case, um, cause I can feel it being a little weird, but anyway, Back to the nine, nine, this is a nice completion. Usually it's a job well done, but that may not be the case for everybody. That's why it's important that whether you get a reading with me or one of your favorite readers, whoever that is, whatever approach you want to take, just make sure it's someone who's ethical, trustworthy, you know, you know, all the stuff, right? You make sure you do that. But this is why it's important to do that type of reading and get a fresh perspective on what you need to let go of. Now, the nine is an epiphany. It is a revelation. It is, oh my gosh, I wish I had seen that sooner. But just know that if you have a moment like that, you would not have realized it sooner than you did, okay? Everybody learns in the time that is right for them. This is also a time of great expanded awareness, a chance to expand your consciousness. And sometimes that will lead in the 1010 energy portal that will lead to some sort of ending. So this is where somebody has like a massive revelation, maybe around, hey, I, I see that my purpose isn't necessarily about looking a certain way or making the most money, but my purpose is showing up and learning my lessons by reflecting off of other people learning from them and I teach them lessons as well. It's a deeper energetic exchange, you know, and then that will have you turning away from your party friends, <laughs> right? You know, that sort of thing. Now, when we don't prep for this, sometimes the other stuff comes in like a wrecking ball. Yes. If you want a reading angelsouls444.com. I am running ahead of schedule on those provided my voice holds up. Um, I'm also scheduling live readings. I already have some clients this week, but we can see if there's a spot or we can schedule for next week for live readings. Email me at angelsouls444 at gmail.com. Okay. So the other thing I want to say about the nine, nine energy portal is this is where a lot of people will find because they're having that revelation, that deep understanding, all of this, um, sort of karma is starting to come to a close, this could have you getting on your life's path, finding your true purpose. It's very big. That's why there's a certain energy to this time of year. Now I know some of you out there are like, no, I love summer, at least here in the Northern hemisphere. <laughs> summer is ending and going into fall. I'm a fall person myself. I love the refreshing, you know, kind of cool air. I love the colors of the trees and I always feel like there's a massive reset. All right. Comment down below. What's your favorite season? Do you like this time of year? If you're a little witchy, yeah, you probably do like <laughs> this time of year. Absolutely. Okay. Oh, there it is. Okay. So here's the first card out co-creation. Yes. Yeah. So there's a big realization that's happening for you at this time that 
you are not subject to the women will of others and you're not subject to the women will of the universe. The universe is supporting you in whatever it is that you want to bring forward. So that is where you need to question, what am I creating? Where do I want to go from here? Now, a lot of people will take that and go, well, I want to be the boss at my work or I want to make a ton of money or I want to be known for something. That in and of itself is putting a little bit of a negative energy behind it because it's implying that you're not already important. It's implying that you haven't made it yet. And you know what I mean? So imagine yourself where you are right now. And this is true. You are perfectly where you need to be. You are living the story perfectly. Yes. Now, imagine I'm going to build upon that. What can I do with this story? What can I do for the next chapter of my life? And it's going to have little to do with surface level accomplishments. That's not where you start. Because <laughs> it will lead to confusion. Yes. Okay. So if you've been trying to manifest around this time, something's trying to go away. Something's trying to be completed, done, you know, put away all of it. You might still be trying to create or co-create from the space you were once in. For some of you, I'm feeling like, well, I saw the age of 36. Uh, I don't know if that was for me. I started Angel Souls at the age of 36. Um, so I don't know, or maybe that's important for some of you. Also that if we take the six and the three, that becomes a nine. So look back, look back when you were, if some of you are old enough, look back when you were 36 or maybe you're 36 now. If you're a younger viewer, we got the three, six, nine kind of going on here. Okay. There's some, there's a theme there. Now, what you once did or however you used to conduct your life, the world is different and you are different. Even if you're trying to conduct yourself the way you would have in 2022, right? It's not going to work in 2024 and beyond, right? So that's the thing that you're learning. How, where do I stand now? And uh, who am I now? What is the world that I have around me? And how do I create in this space? Purgatory. Okay, so some of you are going to feel a little stuck. That's okay. When we're leading up to this energy of letting go, it can be a little bit of resistance and not wanting to let go. Not wanting to, they're saying not wanting to persevere, which tells me that people are getting tired. They're wanting to pull back. They're saying, why should I keep putting work into something if there's no payoff? What is it all for? It can't possibly be just to learn lessons. Don't I deserve to enjoy my life? And the answer is yes. If you pay attention in this reading, whatever other reading you get for yourself, what messages are coming through from your spirit guides and your angels and there'll be tons of signs oh that's the other thing it's really magical about this time of year all the signs because the veil is a little bit thinner yes even now and so people are picking up on things that they wouldn't normally so there's a little gift in that as well but if you are in this space of just i can't i can't i can't well these beautiful gifts that are trying to come through these beautiful opportunities it could have been something that you never would have even imagined you make it so you don't perceive it which is another reason why it's good to get another perspective and not from like a jealous friend who wants to hold you down now for some of you we have the beloved here this is connecting with another human being who loves you dearly now, if you already have someone like that in your life, you're incredibly lucky. Don't ever do anything stupid to mess that up, <laughs> okay? But if you don't feel like you have this, especially if you're somebody who is a light worker, who has gone through this life with a lot of just insane things happening, uh, so much so that if you were to try to tell somebody everything that happened, they would think that you were lying because they cannot imagine that any one person went through all of that. If you are in that space, you walk alone, most likely, because you've learned like people are not trustworthy or they just, you're just on a different plane of existence than they are. Okay. Not better or worse, just different. 
And now you might get to find someone who resonates with you in a big way. Okay. All right. I'm going to get one more card here. Yeah, two of Michael. Okay, so there's a lot of stuck energy coming up here. That's why you please hear what we're saying here. Meditate upon it. Do what you're going to do. But if you find yourself not wanting to move forward because the past is really comfortable, <laughs> um, you're not going to be living your potential. So this will be the time to be working with Archangel Shamuel. Shamuel helps you reach that potential to have the self-love, to even have confidence in yourself. And really bringing a lot of wisdom and beauty into everything that you do. Now, of course, we could work with Michael around that as well. Archangel Jophiel. Your guardian angels. Don't be afraid to work with your guardian angels. Bring them in. All right. Have them show you the way because you're going to get yourself stuck here. Two of Michael, it will be better if you just make a decision. Over analyzing a problem, find a compromise. It was so funny that this comes up because I was just thinking... It's about a week ago. <laughs> I was like, you know, I kind of became that person who was like jack of all trades, master of none, because I'm a, a very much a, an experiencer soul. Like I wanted to come in and get a little taste of a little bit of everything, but I never committed to anything. And now I'm going, okay, if I could do anything for the rest of my life, what would it be? It has everything to do with communication, connection, energy work, you know, the written word, you know, anything that sort of sparks and inspires or just creates that connection with another human being, whether it's one-on-one -on -one, like face-to-face -face, or if it's someone I'll never meet in the rest of the world. That's my passion. So by making that decision, yes, I now have space to commit to that and practice it. This is part of it, right? So give yourself a little bit of a shot here. Leave your comments down below. Please don't overthink things, okay? <laughs> what do you want to commit to? Or who do you want to commit to? Because this, this isn't regular. This isn't just dating. This is not, uh, this is not toxic either. So you know what toxic looks like. You can't make excuses for that. And that's another thing. It could be ending coming up in October. A relationship could end suddenly because you were hanging on for too long. You were forcing yourself to be in this purgatory. Or if you're within an abusive partnership, there could have been a lot of confusion about who you are and what's right for you. So all of that's clearing up now. Pathways are opening. There is great potential here. If you are somebody who plays the victim, this ain't for you, okay? If you're always, oh, my fate, oh... The world is so cruel to me. Oh, that's right. I'm just so terrible, aren't I? Ugh. It's giving covert narcissist, okay? And we, we don't play those games around here. <laughs> All right? So don't do that. If, that. if you're that person, then none of this is going to be happening for you except in like a negative kind of way. And then watch out for those of you who have a history of being the enabler or being codependent with somebody. <laughs> So-and-so needs to be saved and here they come, right? <laughs> so that could derail you. So you want to make sure you're not falling into that kind of dynamic, okay? So we're going to leave it there for this weekly. I'm going to break it down into the dailies. I'll see you over there. I love you guys. Take care.